Oh, hey there, kindergarten. It's Miss Lee again. How are you? So yesterday we made predictions on the story Wibble Wobble. And we made predictions just using the picture clues. Well, today we're gonna read the story and you're gonna decide if your predictions that you made on your paper with the one, the two, and the three are correct. If they're correct, you're just gonna put a little smiley on it. If not, no big deal. Let's get reading. Wibble Wobble. Wibble Wobble. Wibble Wobble. All William ever wanted in the whole world was to lose a tooth. If you felt that way, you can touch your nose or make the connection sign. He was so excited. I'm sure you guys have felt that way too. Everyone else in the class had one. Louis twisted around and around and Rosa's laid flat on its back. But William's teeth seemed stuck. They were super glued to his gums. It isn't fair, said William. Everyone else at school tells Louis tooth stories. Sammy swallowed his. Rosa's fell in the toilet and Louis flew out when he scored a goal. When your loose tooth comes out, Grandma, said William, you get a silver dollar from the tooth fairy. <gasps> Is it so, said Grandma? Yes, said William, and if it comes out at school, you have to keep it somewhere safe. William continued. Vicky tied hers to the knot in her shoelace. And Martin hid his in a cotton ball in his ear. And, and, today Jasmine got lost. Jasmine's tooth got lost in her nose. Mrs. King said she'd keep them safe for now on. I think the teacher was like, what happened? The next day during quiet time, William felt one of his teeth move at last. Mrs. King! he cried. My tooth moved. I felt it. William pushed his tooth forward with his tongue, then sucked it back in for Miss King to see. Look, Rosa said. Look, Rosa, he said. Look, Louie. Push, pull, jiggle, joggle, poke, flick, wibble, wobble. Come on, William, called Mom at bedtime. How long does it take you to brush your teeth? It takes a long time, said William. It hurts my loose tooth. All right, take a little break. Let's go back. How did prediction one go? And how did prediction two go? Have you guys been making the right predictions? Let's see. When I went through the pictures, I didn't realize that this book was more about other friends too and not just William. By looking at the pictures, I thought it was just about William losing a tooth. But it also talked about Rosa and other friends losing teeth too. William just couldn't leave his loose tooth alone. Push, pill, pull, jiggle, joggle, poke, flip, wiggle, wobble. Look, Louie, said William the next day, twisting the tooth round and round. Look, Rosa, he said, as it lay flat on his back. By bedtime, William's tooth was hanging one by one on a little thread. Push, pull, poke, flip, jiggle, joggle, wibble, wobble. Suddenly, the tooth flipped upside down. Ow, ow, yelled William, jumping out of bed. Mom, Dad, he cried, rushing downstairs. Gently, Dad turned the tooth back right side up. Why doesn't it just come out, said William. Don't worry, said Dad, it will. In gym class the next day, William got his best somersault ever. And when he stood up, his tooth was sitting on his tongue. William took it out and looked at it. Ah! It was so funny. Uh, I'll look after it until you go home, said Mrs. King, wrapping it in a tissue and putting it on top of her filing cabinet. Then can I take it home, asked William, feeling a bit wobbly himself. Of course, said Mrs. King. I bet he's so excited. That afternoon, William sat poking his tongue into the hole in his gum, waiting for Louie to finish his art project. And suddenly Louie shouted, ah, and started dancing about. I got paint in my eye. I'll get a tissue, said Miss King. Mrs. King dabbed Louie's eye. By the time Louie was cleaned up, it was time to go home. Look, Mom, William said my tooth came out. Oh, William said, Mom, where is it? Uh, it's on the filing cabinet wrapped in a tissue, said William. 
Here it is, said Miss King. And then she said, oh, it's gone. Where do you think it went? Does anybody know? Thanks. They searched everywhere and suddenly William stopped. Rosa gave Louis a tissue, he said, when he got red paint on his eye. Mom and Mrs. King looked at each other. Don't worry, William, said Mom, searching the wastebasket. We'll find it. William sat down and stared at his feet. He was missing his tooth very much by now. He was sure they'd never find it. Suddenly, Mom stood up. Oh, this might be it! She unwrapped the tissue, and there it was. William's tooth. Mrs. King washed the tooth and gave it back to William. Perhaps the tooth fairy will leave something special tonight, said Mrs. King. After all that. So the next morning, William looked under his pillow, and there, by a wooden box, he lifted the lid, and inside was a silver, shiny dollar. When William got to school, he told everyone his loose tooth story. I would think you'd like a, I, I would think you'd like a rest from loose teeth for a while, William, said Mrs. King. Whew, said William. Yes, I would. On the way home from school, William took his silver dollar and bought an enormous ice cream cone. It had little colored candies that stuck all over it, layers of chocolate and chewy toffee in the middle. Ooh. I'm wondering what happens to teeth if something is chewy or sticky. Hmm. William unwrapped it. He took a big bite. Ping! Went the little colored candies. Crack! Went the, went, the went the other candies. Squish! Went the ice cream. Crunch! Went the ice cold rock hard toffee. And guess what? Another tooth wiggled! Push, pull, jiggle, joggle, poke, flick, wibble, wobble. Did you guys like this book? It reminds me of a lot of you when you get so excited that you had loose teeth. I'm sure you're gonna all keep losing a lot of more teeth because your brains are getting 